It's a pretty windy day, which is ideal to test out the microphone on this new camera because uh, I have a new camera and so the only reason to go for this run is really, well two reasons, uh, to check out the camera and to tell you about uh, a film that isn't on my Film My Run channel. Okay, that's two kilometers done. 503 for that kilometer. So two kilometers in. And uh, the camera I've got, the new camera, is the DJI Action 2. So a lot of people fell in love with the DJI Action 1 as an alternative to the GoPro. So I've always been a GoPro user. But, um, I thought I'd have the, I thought I'd give this one a go because it's very small but still shoots 4K60. The only thing I'm thinking about is whether the audio won't be very good and it's a good test because I'm running right into the wind at the moment. So I'm only doing 5k, so the turnaround point from where I start is always these big points. So we turn around, and now I've got the wind behind me, so let's see what the noise difference is like on the camera. Uh, so that's three kilometers done, that one was 453, so we're getting faster each kilometer, so I suppose I better keep that up. The other reason I wanted to uh, take the camera with me today was just to tell you about the Backyard Ultra film. So many of you will know that I have recorded and produced a documentary film about the Suffolk Backyard Ultra where the world record was broken for the number of loops completed. It has actually since been broken again but my film of the Suffolk Backyard Ultra is available on Vimeo and you need to search for 81 yards a backyard story on the Vimeo website. If you have a smart TV there is an app for Vimeo which you can download onto your smart TV so you can watch the backyard ultra documentary on your big TV. Ideally I would have loved to have put it on my Film My Run channel but that wasn't possible because the film is actually owned by those people who commissioned me um, challenge running uh, to make the documentary so they own the film and uh, they've chosen to put it on Vimeo which is fine just cost you £2.50 to rent. So please go and watch that film. It is remarkable to see those guys running the distance that they did. Four thirty-seven for that kilometre, that's kilometre four. So we are continuing the progressive nature of the run. So we better do the last one fairly speedily, hadn't we? Coast Cafe. 
and all the independent little craft shops along the seafront here in Worthing. Uh, that's where Park Run finishes, just down there. And this is Splash Point uh, swimming pool and gym. This is the new controversial block of flats in Worthing. A lot of people don't like it because it's taller than everything around. I don't mind, I haven't got a problem with it. I'm holding the camera very close to my face, about 20 centimetres away from my face. And we'll finish around about the bus stop here. Here we are. Four minutes 12 for that kilometre. So, 24.14 for 5k, a nice progressive run. Just getting faster and faster each kilometre. Oh, it's put my VO2 max up on Garmin to 55. <laughs> I think I'm about 57 when you test it in a, in a lab. So that's all right, that'll do. Nice kind of zone two-ish run. Okay, there we are. So um, don't forget, go and watch the Vimeo uh, Backyard Ultra film. So £2.50 to rent on Vimeo, vimeo.com or download the Vimeo app on your Fire TV, your smart TV. And search for 81 Yards, a Backyard Story. So that's the documentary I made about the Suffolk Backyard Ultra where the record, the world record was broken number of laps on a backyard course. Appreciate if you go and watch that. Um, apologies that it isn't on the Film My Run channel, that's just the way these things worked out. Uh, and let me know what you think of the quality of the Action 2 camera. What's the sound like and uh, do you like the, uh, the wide angle nature of the lens and the colour saturation? And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. See you for another film I run very soon.